still only gonna get you so many miles per gallon. I don't know. <coughs> Seems like I had all my good times in the four cylinder. Cause every time I try to do some shit in a V8, it sucks too much gas. And with the V6, it was it was the same thing. But I could ride around and not have to worry about money in a four cylinder a lot easier. And I heard them new trucks, them new big full size trucks got four cylinders with twin turbos. When are they going to add the water powered? They're not going to do the water powered motor. They're going to make it gas. They call it hydrogen, but it could be water. There was dudes that used water. They just added baking soda to the electrical part. So it'll activate with the water and make that gas or whatever and have the separate tank. That's the gas chamber and it'll run on water. JCB's already doing that with their tractors. They're making hydrogen gas instead of water, but it's basically the same thing. Just one's a liquid that'll turn into a gas. You just have to have the right setup, and the other one just is gas, which is water gas hydrogen. They call it hydrogen, but uh. The, the secret ingredient to the people using the water-powered motors is baking soda. You see it on that guy's channel. Shout out to um, Liberty Engine Project. It's called Liberty Engine Project. A lot of people were saying that it was fake. But, you know, they probably got their knowledge from Stanley Meyer. Stanley Meyer made the water-powered car. Because like I said the other day, there was a dude that made a magnetic motor with magnets. But JCB's doing the hydrogen gas over batteries, electric batteries. So you don't even have to recharge. Like that dude in Canada, um, Edison Motors, he's doing the electric battery that's being charged with a diesel engine generator. So he's using diesel to charge up his battery so he can keep going. But JCB over there in Europe, they're doing the pressurized hydrogen tank. So you don't even have to worry about charging it up while you're, do while you're running the tractor. It's basically the same diesel engine. It's just been converted a little bit to where it'll accept the gas, water gas, hydrogen. So you still have a motor. It sounds like a motor. It breathes like a motor. Internal combustion engine. But it's uh comes from water. Water and electricity. 